question 10 is a proof by induction uh, if you don't know what how proof by induction works we basically show that something is true for n equals to 1 then we show that if it's true for n equals to k it must also be true for n equals to k plus 1 as it's true for n equals to 1 so if k1 is true k2 is true if 2 is true then n equals to 3 will be true if 3 is true n equals to 4 will be true in this way it will be true for all integers so this is the general overview of proof by induction so at first uh, in part one we have to use proof by induction to show that this matrix over here can be written as this so we'll check if it's true for n equals to 1 so for n equals to 1 left hand side is 5 4 minus 1 mi 1 and right hand side equals to 3 to the power 1 minus 1 so 3 to the power 0 or 1 left 2 into 1 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 a minus 1 over here then for 4n we'll have 4 and 3 minus 2n so 3 minus 2 into 1 this is 3 minus 2 so 1 over here we show that left hand side equals to right hand side for n equals to 1 so for n equals to 1 left hand side equals to right hand side now for n equals to k we'll have the left hand side so 5 to the power k equals to 3 to the power k minus 1 times 2k plus 3 minus k 4k 3 minus 2k we'll have if it is true for then for n equals to k plus 1 we'll have 5 4 minus 1 1 k equals to we'll have 3 to the power k minus 1 times 2k plus 3 4k 3 minus 2 this whole term is uh, for n equals to k so this term over here is 4 minus 1 1 k minus 1 to make it uh, to make the power of this k we'll have to multiply another one of them so we do this now if we carry out the matrix multiplication we'll get uh, 5 times 2k plus 3 minus 4k then we'll have minus 2k minus 3 minus k 20k plus 4 times 3 minus 2k and lastly we'll have minus 4k plus 3 minus 2k If we carry it out, we'll get 
टेन के माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस फोर के सो सिक्स के माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री के माइनस थ्री ट्वेंटी माइनस एट सो ट्वेल्व के हेयर सो ट्वेंटी के माइनस एट के प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड हेयर विल हैव माइनस सिक्स के प्लस थ्री वी कैन टेक थ्री कॉमन फ्रॉम द होल मैट्रिक्स सो दिस विल बी थ्री टाइम्स टू के माइनस फाइव दिस इज अ प्लस टू के प्लस फाइव माइनस के माइनस वन फोर के प्लस फोर माइनस टू के प्लस वन नाउ वी कैन राइट दिस लाइक थ्री के वी कैन राइट टू के प्लस फाइव एस टू टाइम्स के प्लस वन प्लस थ्री वी कैन राइट माइनस के माइनस वन एस माइनस के प्लस वन वी कैन राइट फोर के प्लस फोर इन दिस फॉर्म सो फोर के प्लस वन एंड फाइनली वी कैन राइट माइनस टू के प्लस वन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री माइनस टू टाइम्स के प्लस वन सो वी हैव दिस टर्म ओवर हियर बट नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ द वैल्यूज ऑफ के विल हैव के प्लस वन सो इफ इट्स ट्रू फॉर के इट मस्ट ऑल्सो बी ट्रू फॉर के प्लस वन दे फोर इफ इट इज ट्रू फॉर एन इक्वल्स टू के इट मस्ट ऑल्सो बी ट्रू फॉर एन इक्वल्स टू के प्लस वन as it is true for uh, n equals to 1 it must be true for all positive integers so that's it for part a so part 1 now we have to prove by induction for a positive integer f of n is divisible by 7 so f of n is 8 to the power 2n plus 1 Plus six to the power two n minus one. So we'll uh, check for n equals to one at first. For n equals to one, we'll have f of n eight times two plus one, so eight cube. Plus six to the power two minus one, so eight cube plus six. Eight cube. Is 512. So 512 plus 6 is 518. If we divide it by 7, we'll get 74. So 518 divided by 7 is 74 with no remainder. This is divisible by 7. now we assume that uh, if it is true for n equals to k we'll have f of k equals to 8 to the power 2k plus 1 plus 6 to the power 2k minus 1 and then for f of 
n equals to k plus 1 we'll have f of k plus 1 which is 8 to the power 2k plus 1 plus 1 plus 6 times 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 we'll get 8 to the power 2k plus 2 plus 1 so 2k plus 3 and here we'll get 6 to the power 2k plus 2 minus 1 so 2k plus 1 we can write this as 8 to the power 2k times 8 cube plus 6 to the power 2k times 6 from the previous part we knew that uh, 8 times 2k plus 1 plus 6 to the power 2k minus 1 this term over here was a multiple of 7 we'll try to get that term back so we can write 2k plus 1 over here by removing one of the powers from here and we can change this to 2k minus 1 by making this 6 squared so we'll have 64 times 8 to the power 2k plus 1 plus 36 times 6 to the power 2k minus 1. I want to keep, I want to separate the 8 times 2k, 8 to the power 2k plus 1 and 6 to the power uh, 2k minus 1. So I'll take 64 out here. I'll get 8 times 2k plus 1 plus 6 to the power 2k minus 1. I want to take this inside the bracket only. Now there were 36 uh, of 2k, 36 of this. So there were 36, uh, 6 to the power 2k minus 1. Uh, if I take it inside the bracket, there will be 64 of them. So to balance them out, I'll have to subtract 64 minus 36 of them this so I'll get 64 times 8 to the power 2k plus 1 plus 6 to the power 2k minus 1 minus 28 times 6 to the power 2k minus 1 this over here is a multiple of 7 28 is also a multiple of 7 So, f of k plus 1 must also be a multiple of 7. If f of k is a multiple of 7. We know that uh, f of 1 is a multiple of 7. So, since f1 is a multiple of 7 now uh, f of n is divisible by 7 for all positive integer n